In the case of May's problem, we can write expressions for the cost using each of the methods. If May sends away, it will cost $2.50 per badge, so we'll be multiplying $2.50 by the number of badges ordered. Since we're setting this up algebraically, we'll write it without the multiplication symbol as 2.50b, or we could do it as 2.5b. We then add the $7 for postage, and this expression will give the total cost. For the hiring method, it only costs 20 cents per badge, and we should express this in the same terms as previously, so we write it as $0.2, not 20, per badge, and add the 300 for the hiring cost. Now one question we might ask is whether we should be using different variables for the badges in each case, or is it okay to use the same B? Well, since we're comparing the price of badges, we can keep B the same. So if B equals 1, we'd have a cost for the first expression and a different cost for the second one, but both with respect to the cost of one badge. However, we might want to keep the cost variables separate. So we'll say P is the cost of using post and H is the cost of hiring. Now for one badge, clearly it will be better to use postage. But if we get a thousand badges, it'll probably be better to use the machine hire since it's so much less per badge. So one thing we might do in the entry stage of this problem is to reframe the question as one that asks when the two methods will result in the same cost. How can we work this out? Well, that's going to be when P is equal to H. So we set this up. We're left with an equation that involves just numbers and B. Our task here is to solve for B. And the way that we do this is we apply operations that will cancel out operations undertaken here until we're left with B equals something something. How do we choose these? We apply the inverse operations, the operations that are essentially the opposite of what is being undertaken. So if we subtract seven, we'll be able to cancel out the seven on the left hand side because subtracting seven is the inverse operation to adding seven. But then we need to make sure we apply that operation to both sides. Applying operations to both sides will mean that the equality in the middle will still hold. Now we have B on both sides still, but we can get it on one side by subtracting all the B from the right hand side. Subtracting 0.2b from the right and from the left will keep the equality and lead to a cancelling out on the right hand side. Then finally we have 2.3 multiplied by b equals 293 and to get b by itself we do the opposite of multiplying by 2.3 which is dividing by 2.3 and then 2.3 over 2.3 will give b Remember that commutativity and associativity allow this to work even though the 2.3 is in front of the B and we're kind of applying the operation after the B. And so now we have our final solution. When we're setting out our working for this kind of problem, it's good to annotate, making note of the operations we're applying each time and then rewriting the equation that we're left with. Sometimes we might like to further annotate by crossing out in places where we get a cancelling or sometimes we prefer to leave these out altogether. That's fine, as long as it's clear and logical how we get to one line from the next.